Hey y'all, y'all ready to cook? Cause I'm sure ready to eat. So here, what you wanna do first is um, you got some cutlets. I got some cutlets here, you see? I already seasoned all my cutlets. And um, again, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I tell you guys to season them any type of way that you want them seasoned. So uh, I like whatever I like and whatever you're gonna season with, whatever you like. So what I like, I like to use so a little bit of garlic, some um, onion powder, sazon, adobo, black pepper, all types of seasoning, what I do for my meat. So like, again, this is already seasoned, well seasoned. And what I did was I slit a little slit inside of it, okay? Which is like a pocket. Cause what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stuff my chicken. So what I got going on right here is um, I'm gonna, I have some mozzarella. I'm gonna put a few slices in here, just like this, okay? Now what I have right here is a few pimentos. You know I love my pimentos when I stuff them in there. Just a little bit, just enough to get it up in there. And I'm gonna use me some shredded mozzarella. That's what I'm gonna do. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my two picks and I'm gonna close them off just like this, one by one. Lift. And make sure they're secure and they close so when I put them to the heat, it doesn't come out just like this. Got it? Okay. So I have my stuffed chicken, just a few pieces right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it over here to my cast iron grill. So what I did was put a little bit of oil in here and the heat is very hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it just a little bit, just like that. And I'm gonna try to get like all three pieces in. Well, maybe we're gonna try to do two. Like that. It's okay if it's so we gotta on both sides lightly cook it down on both sides. Just lightly fry it. So now the next step, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna turn these around and have them cook on the other side. Just like that. Okay. And I have them cook on the other side for another like 15 minutes hot, 10, 15 minutes hot. So it should be just like this. So I just removed my chicken from my cast iron grill. So on both sides, these are lightly, uh, fried on both sides. So we're gonna rest these, put them to the side. So the next step, what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna use the same pan, which is okay. I have my chicken marsala cooking wine. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit in here. I got some minced onion. I'm gonna put here. Some minced garlic. I'm gonna put there. And I got me some mushrooms. I got the thing going off, but it's okay. So we're gonna cook that down, all the way down. 
until it comes to like a nice boil, a nice sauce. That's what we're gonna do. Cook this down until it comes to a nice sauce. Now you see how it's coming to like a nice sauce, a nice boil. So the last step, we're gonna add some heavy cream to this. Just like that. I'm gonna mix it around. We're gonna let it cook down a little bit more, like another five minutes or so. So here's the last step before we put it in our oven. See, and now I have my full boil of my chicken marsala um, sauce. Now we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna just place them just like this inside our pot, just like this. We're gonna let that cook down. We're gonna try to get whatever juices we could get on top of here. Hold on. Just like this, we're gonna put it on top. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna Put this in the oven on like 350 eh, for about an hour just like that so here it is my chicken masala